Hello! Uh, it's Tuesday, and this is OML Twitch's episode 19, and it is launch day for Hex Gambit. And it's tax day on the same day. It's a very busy day for emails. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I'm Alex Okafor, um, and that is Adam Stewart. And Hello. We and we are one man left. Um, and... Pretty excited today because we've been everything we've been doing has been leading to this day, or at least this major milestone. Um, so the game's out on Steam on early access, and we now can hopefully get a much larger player pool to play the game. So I know a lot of our Kickstarter backers are excited about that as well. Cause yeah, some everything. fresh meat to <laughs> yeah. uh... basically, yeah. To teach how to play, quote unquote. They're just going to destroy you guys for the first couple of days, but you'll catch up. Right. Um, so today, Adam and I are going to just play through a 1v1, and we're just going to discuss a little bit of the game and some of our plans for early access while we do that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start a game. Under exhibition. Um, so for those that haven't seen Hex Gambit before, and this is your first time tuning in, um, it is a turn-based tactical game. So you can choose your loadout, essentially, um, when you play against other players. And a loadout consists of five minions and a captain. Um, right now, we only have five minions, and that's something I'll be adding as we go on um, through er throughout Early Access. Um, so yep, we have uh, we have our next two minions fully animated, and I've been like sprinkling screenshots out and stuff. I haven't captured any video of them, I don't think yet, but uh, so they're just sort of waiting to be uh, implemented into the game and everything. They're pretty far along, but I think we have some things ahead of them uh, as far as early access plans. Okay, so on the first turn of Hex Gambit, you generally just pick um, your minions and kind of set them out on the board. Um, so right now I'm just going to be picking some brutes, as always, uh, and a defender. And a defender is kind of a support unit, kind of. Yeah, he's an interesting hybrid. He's like a yeah. quasi-support, quasi-combat unit. He doesn't hit particularly hard, but he's pretty healthy. And he's got, um, he can grant people shields as one of his abilities. And his, uh, another one of his specials is to just drop these blockades down. That, uh, that can stop people coming in for one turn. They're temporary indestructible barriers that are pretty useful, especially, uh, if you just need one more turn to pull something off. So I finished my turn, um, and Adam should be starting his soon. Not seeing the invite yet. All right, I think we're back. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we we have a temporary solution. We're gonna give it a shot. Um, deploy it seemed to be a version mish match, mish 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 mismatch between Alex and I, and, and we haven't quite resolved it, but we're going to see if it still plays. Um, right. um, so where were we? Oh, I'm not red anymore. I'm green. Let's see. Um, so yeah, when on the beginning of the game, everyone just kind of places their minions down, and then on your next turn, you start actually using your minions. Um, so it's pretty quick to start. Uh, it is Adam's turn right now, and it looks like he's deployed some soldiers. Yeah, I did a test deployment to see if it would work, and I think that's part of Alex's plan. It's just to get <laughs> me to uh, to do a fake deployment. And we're going to try to stay out of range of stuff. Yeah, I'm going to be conservative because my first turn move was pretty conservatively played. Well, you know, let's not. Let's be fun. Let's go that way. And... <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to leave him there. End turn. 
So the second player gets a few more people than the first player to make up for the advantage of uh, going first. Usually a first turn loadout will look like somebody pushing the line really hard in the center. But mine was all played back really far, so Alex just kind of got a bunch of people. Hi, people who are coming towards me. Oh, we're coming. <laughs> so, uh... Should show off a crowd surf and uh, sacrifice one of your people like we did in a previous stream. No. It's my favorite way to get an advantage yeah. is to make Alex demonstrate something <clears throat> that he shouldn't be doing at that moment. Oh, so I'm going to go ahead and push my heavy. Um, yeah. So now I can actually make it all the way over to the pillar. We have a bridge of monsters coming to my side of the map. So he gets a point, a victory point, for tapping that pillar. And I see my new effect is in, and I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, he gets a victory point for tapping those pillars, which is just getting next to it and doing that magical-looking thing that just happened. And he also gets a point if he kills one of my people. So, uh... He's, uh... Being incredibly sure. aggressive right now. Another thing about the game is you you can add more units to the board every turn, and they cost one um, action point to do so. And you can do it on your spawn tiles, which are the colorful tiles on your side of the board. So in my case, it's green. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spawn Motivator. And end my turn. You can't use your characters once you spawn. Um, you have to wait a turn for them to become active. Hmm, mm hmm, okay. So the motivator works like as as he launched originally, right? We haven't updated him at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because that would change a little. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of a good response to this that can eliminate as many dangerous people as possible. Um. And without screwing myself over. Let's see. Let's go... We'll do that. Oh, this is going to take a lot of action points. Okay, this is going to take a little more than I wanted to use, but... Ooh, I almost just misclicked there. i go get ahead of myself. All right, then I'm going to jump over here. And now that he's intimidated, he will take an extra damage when I attack him. And that'll get rid of that guy. Rage. And then... You just might learn something. We're gonna... Let's go this way. Bring him out a little bit. Trying to think what else. I think that might be okay. I don't know. I mean, I, I took a brute off the board. It took a lot of points to do, and you have a lot of people coming still. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and try to get rid of this brute. It was all a ploy to lure me out. It's a lot of action over here at the bottom. <clears throat> so every time you kill a unit, you, you get a victory point, um, as well as tapping the rally pillar. Um, ooh. So I'm going to go ahead and tap the rally pillar. And then I'll take our soldier. And I'm moving over here. 
going all in on this attack. This is pretty early to be going all in, but I did have a pretty bad start <laughs> because it was a test start. And I have this thing where I, I never start with brutes because I'm tired of seeing people start with brutes, but it's still at the point where it's a good idea to start with a brute. <laughs> um, like at least one. So, hi, Alex. Hi. Um, let's see. For those that are playing in early action. Oh, all right. Um, Sorry. Kind of our high on our docket at the moment is to get our profiles page up and running. Uh, so when you play the game, you can unlock different player icons. You unlock captains um, and you're in trophies in the Apex Cup, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Um, and right now we've been tracking all that stuff the server if we just don't have a way for players to view it so we hopefully have an update in the next week or two that'll finally get a lot of that progression stuff visible to players you invite my wrath oh shouldn't have let me do that you'll burn for that now that is a rookie mistake I'm just going to race you to the end. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is turning into a race. <clears throat> Not exactly what I had in mind. Too easy. What in the... Oh. I'm just warming up. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I don't think you can tap that pillar anymore, Alex. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying really hard to. No holding back. Huh, okay. Get rid of that guy. Let's remove that guy from the board. Oh, you're Malira. I thought you could unspawn. Some of the aspect of the game is uh, you have captain abilities. Uh, they're essentially like ultimates where after a certain amount of victory points that your enemy gets um you unlock an ability that you can use one time throughout the match um adam ended up using unspawn on me which removed my brute from the board um and malera the captain i'm playing as she has a flame space that can you can put down and it kind of incinerates anybody that stands on it I'm going to push you this way. And then... <laughs> oh, man! I was like, I'm going to kill that soldier. I'm going to get that soldier softened up. That is my soldier. So that's not going to be very helpful. Um... All right, what else, what else? So I just got to keep you from getting four until I get mines. And it's looking like we're probably going to want... Let's see. Do I want that or do I want something fast? But something fast will probably die, so I'm going to go that. And then, ah, over here we want something fast. 
And there we go. All right. Sorry, I'm not describing this. I'm having like a really uphill battle here, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing, and I cannot talk during. But what I'm trying to do is prevent him from getting the four VP he needs before I can get the six freaking VP that I need. I think I've got a lot of his offensive power off the board, and he is outnumbered like crazy. So I'm hoping that I can leverage this into a victory. So my captain's power was unspawned. I think Alex probably already mentioned this, where uh, I got rid of that brute without having to do all the damage to take him out. And now I'm just fascinated at what is going to happen from here. I have no idea. All right, that's one for Alex. One step closer to your dream. So now I have to keep him from getting three before I can land six, which is a tall order, but. How do you have another brute? Oh, I unspawned him. <laughs> I didn't kill him. I unspawned him so he can be respawned with a little patience. <clears throat> and now Alex is in the same position that I was in where he cannot take his turn and talk at the same time. We're good. You're going to retreat? Need to pick away at a uh, at blue. All right, we are gonna get a little crazy. Oh no! No. You invite my wrath. I thought I would be able to uh, you just might learn. do something else. Ah, well. Um. So I need five points. Um. Oh, it's tricky. I can't finish you off. I really want to. I want to murder you. So, what can I do that might be useful? Not that. I think if there's any way I might be able to toss you or something. Because I really wanted to be able to finish that with uh, the brute crowd surfing up to kill the... Uh, I can still do that. Are you free? Ah, oh, you cost one? Why does it cost one still? Arr! There's a balance update where the runner's dash is free, and that would have made this work. All of the uh, balance suggestions I ever make are just to help me win. Basically. In a game that I anticipate having in the future. <laughs> All right. Um... I might still be... No, I can't do anything, though, if I do that. Hmm! No AP! Um, let's see. There's no good place I could toss you that I can think of that will prevent you from tapping. So you've got to tap there, a tap there. He's not going to tap. So as long as you don't kill anybody. One, two, three, you could kill him. Well... <clears throat> oh, I can't think of anything cool to do. I really want to. Oh, I think you might have me on this. We shall see. I know this is boring to watch. <laughs> but I'm, but I'm really, I really want to turn this around. Is there any way 
that I can. I just have option paralysis at this point. I can't do it. Um, oh, wait. You better make that's an option. Or yeah. So uh, I'm just gonna play another game while you do this. No, no, you're not. No, no, no. I'm saying. We're, we're so I forgot my soldiers got a little reach. So we're gonna soften him up like that. Finish him off. Boom. All right, now I think I can prevent you from getting. Enough VP by the end of this. And I'll do like this. So you can't even get next to me and hit me and tap. You have to like... <laughs> oh, you can. But... Just trying to make your life difficult. And then... What else? What else? No, I think that's it. I think that's it. I'm over. I'm overdoing it now. No, I'm not. I'm going to do... Like this too. So that they all have... Uh, protection. The motivator unit is is a support unit. Like, you can't do anything without any other people, but if you put them next to uh, some guys you want to protect, then they take one less damage every time they're attacked. That's what those uh, happy rainbow things mean. <clears throat> All right. It's going to be a close game if I pull this off, but I think I can pull this off. Pretty sure this, this game is over. Well, you got double time coming as soon as you tap. Unless we haven't fixed that bug yet, which is bully for me if we haven't. <laughs> Let's see. Um... Gonna go with this. Gonna move my fruit over here. You just gonna toss me for fun? Uh huh. <laughs> toss oh, I see. So that's a flame space. Uh, that's his uh, captain's power, and it is an instant kill as soon as one of my people touches it, and he's gonna make that guy touch it with a toss. So yeah, that's GG. You got no other people to use. That beginning was friggin' scary. I was just staring at that push at the beginning and going, that's a lot of HP on the board and I have no brute spawned. If <laughs> <clears throat> my... I don't think I can do anything to get out of this particular. I've got four spaces. So unless my mouse clicker doesn't work. Bonk. You'll burn for that. Oh, shouldn't have let me do that. Yeah, I think those uh I think the pillar taps are looking cooler now. Watch me closely. You just might learn something. Come on. Nope. Nope. What's wrong with him? Did you install the bug just so that I can't tap on the last turn? Basically. You invite my wrath. I'm pressing Y! Okay, I had to hit the button. <laughs> I'm not sure why that was. That's the end of that. Sorry we had so many technical difficulties at the beginning. Um, we can edit those out for <laughs> when we put it into YouTube unless we want just like dead silence for the middle. Yeah. Oh, that was a close game. That was really um, <clears throat> so yeah, we did a, probably a terrible job at explaining it because we got too competitive in the middle of that. <laughs> but it's a, it's a PvP strategy game, 1v1 or 2v2, which is really cool. And uh, the all the moves are designed to be really creatively used with each other. You saw us hopping over each other's heads a lot um, in the board. And part of the reason that we we're so silent and taking so long to stare at it is there's just uh, there's so much you can do if you can... I'm always in a position where, like, if I think hard enough, I know I can get out of this, so what's the way? But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's Hex Gambit, and it is out now on Early Access, and you should go pick it up and try it out for yourself. Yeah, um, I can go over some of the Apex Cup stuff. just. To oh, yeah, show them that for sure. 
um, since we are on the dev server or whatever, I still haven't choos chosen my faction. Um, so a big component of Hex Gambit is our Apex Cup. Um, at the beginning of every season, you get to choose one of three factions, the Torga, the Neptis, or the Vulcan. Um, and the screen I'm, I'm at right now is the choose your faction screen right now. Uh, we do have controls for like players trying to like, you know, crowd into a certain faction. So if a certain faction is overcrowded, you just can't pick it. So in this scenario, I can only pick Torga. But when you select a faction, for the remainder of the season, all your league matches are for that faction. Um, and so when you start a game, you'll go to the Apex Summit. And the Apex Summit shows you the territory map. And I'm on Torga, so the Torga are the green um, faction. And then Neptis is blue and Vulcan is red. Um, as you're picking... Uh, so the reason you pick a Tala here is when you start a match... Um, you select the tile you want to fight for. Um, so, for instance, you can only pick the tiles that are adjacent to your territory, but for instance, I'll pick this tile, and when I pick it, it'll start a normal Hex Gambit match. When I finish that match, any victory points that I've earned that match go towards that tile's influence. And so, so this is a development server, so there's no one playing on here right now. As you can see right now, there's 18 influence per faction, which, sorry, 18 tiles per faction, which means you have each faction controls a tile. And the way you control a tile is by having the most influence on that tile. Um, so tiles that are neutral or just gray, if you happen to do a match on that tile and then finish it, you'll end up controlling it if no one else is competing for it. Um, so when I click on one, it'll just start a match. I'm not gonna go and do the turn here, but um, after, so when you finish the Apex Cup um, right now in early access, we set it to 30 days. So near the end of the season, um, once the season completes, the winning faction will get trophies for the profile and then the top performers of the, each individual factions, like if you're the top 10% influence earner on your faction, you'll get like uh, another trophy. And this is just a way for like the community to not only um, play in 1v1s and 2v2s together, but also kind of play towards a common goal um, and kind of help each other out as well. Um, and exhibitions, which you just saw, which is you can, it's no ranking involved, but you can kind of just play whichever um, against anyone you want. Um, Blitz Royale and local player coming during early access, and Blitz Royale is going to be our single player um, mode. Uh, yeah, and I'm trying to do a pretty good job of um, posting my progress. Sometimes I get a tendency to keep my head down and just keep working and forget to throw things out there. <laughs> but uh, So some of my early sketches for Blitz Royale are on OneManLeft.com right now, and then as we start to develop that into something that actually looks nice, um, I'll be just like shooting stuff up as I, as I get it done. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, profiles will be coming up soon. Um, and we've got new minions coming during early access, which you can also check at womanlift.com. Yeah, I'm going to need to put some kind of a trailer or something together for those, uh, just to show off some of their new powers and stuff. They, they change up the game in some interesting ways. One of them is the sniper, who's a long distance attacker. Uh, we don't have anybody with a whole bunch of distance yet, so he's our first for that, to fill that sort of niche. And then uh, the second is the pacifist, who can sort of nullify another unit. Like, say somebody's got a brute coming in, and uh, or a couple of brutes coming in, as is the case today. Uh, you could throw a pacifist in the middle of them, and just have her pacify one of the brutes, and he'll be filled with love and hearts sprout around him, and he won't attack anybody. He can't attack or tap uh, for one turn. So it sort of just takes him temporarily out of the match, in exchange for taking my, my pacifist, you know, uses up her action also. So it's kind of like a let's not do stuff together button. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and like I said, the profiles will be coming later. Um, and for anyone playing early access, feel free to let us know what you think. Yeah, um, drop us a review. Uh, be kind. We're still a work in progress. <laughs> right, yeah. Still but there'll be, there'll be updates rolling out with what kind of frequency, do you think? Uh, we're, then... Usually we target a weekly update. <laughs> Um, if it's not weekly, it's bi-weekly, um, barring any, like, hot fixes. Sometimes we do something quicker just to, like, get a fix out there, but usually we go for one to two weeks 
between updates. Yeah, if it's a um, big feature, sometimes there'll be a longer gap between, but it'll be worth the wait. Yeah. Um, and for those looking for other players, definitely join our Discord server. Um, and... Yeah, that link is at the top of our blog. Uh, if you go to onemanleft.com, we got a sticky post up at the very top with a link to that. And that should cover it. Um, so thanks for watching. And for those that pick up Hank's Gambit, thanks for checking it out and playing it. And... Yeah, go uh, go grab some tiles and, and uh, make your mark on the summit today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And you'll see more updates from us in the coming weeks. Have a good one.